Alright, so we're going to be making a skirt with frills using Divine Cut. To do that, select a character and set the cloth type to skirt and click on new cloth. Position the pelvis and the hip. You can set a pleat count to 16 and click on generate skirt rig. Disable pleated skirt since we don't want to pleat it and just move the waist circle wherever you want it on the waist and just scale it so that it fits a bit nicely onto the waist. Like that. Now, however large, however long you want the skirt to be, you can position it low, you can scale it big or small. I'll leave mine like this and click on generate skirt. Okay, so when you press play, the character kind of walks away from the skirt and that's because it hasn't been bound. So come to your first frame and click on bind with the skirt selected and now it is bound to the character. You can see the character now walks with the skirt. Now, we get some intersections here because of the quality of the skirt before simulation. So here you can see the cloth modifier here and you have a subdivision modifier after it and you have one before it. The one before it is what determines how detailed the simulation will be. So if you disable this one, you can see the quality of the skirt. So you can come back to the first frame and increase the subdivision of the first one if you want it, the quality or the yeah, of, of the collisions to be more. So click on bind, we can enable the second subdivision modifier and press play. I can see the skirt now has more detail and the uh, intersection is no longer um, there. You can increase the weight of the skirt if you like, but I am satisfied with this weight. But if you want to increase the weight of the skirt, you can come over here to physical properties, vertex mass, and increase this to about one kg, which is, a, which is quite heavy. But you can see the skirt will now drop um, much more than it was. You can also increase the quality steps but so far we have no intersections which I think the quality is okay. Alright so now we're going to add frills to this skirt. Come into edit mode and select a loop like this. I'm gonna save this. Come under the design section and with the loop selected click on new frill. After you do this you see a new ring. Don't deselect it. Scale it to however long or large you want the frill to be and then click on finish frill. So we can just do this again for each point that you want to frill. So click on new frill with this edge selected and then you can scale it like this and click on finish frill. So we can continue to do this um, until we are satisfied with the number of frills that we have. I'm just going to add one more here, new frill, scale it, move it down and finish frill. Now each fill is a separate object, you can hold shift and select each one and press ctrl J to join them as one object and then click on bind to rebind it to the skirt. So now when you press play we have a bunch of frills um, on our skirts. So you can see when you press play we have some intersections happening here and that's because there's no collision turned on for the skirt. So select the skirt. Under the design section, click on toggle collision, so you can see collision turned on. Now when you press play, the frills will collide with the skirt. So yeah, that's basically the workflow to creating a skirt with frills using Divine Cut.